Are you serious? Are you serious? Get a cup of coffee. Get a Bible. I'm going to be reading from the King James Version of the Bible, Revelation chapter 14. And, oh, the coffee's good this morning. Oh, are you doing good this morning? Are you blessed? Come on. All right, all right. Um, and I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on Mount Sion, and with him a hundred and forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung, as it were, a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. These are they which are not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb, whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the firstfruits unto God and to the Lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of God. And I saw another angel, fly in the midst of heaven, having the everlasting gospel to preach unto them that dwell on the earth, and to every nation, and kindred, and tongue, and people, saying with a loud voice, Fear God, and give glory to him, for the hour of his judgment is come. And worship him that made heaven and earth, and the sea, and the fountains of waters. And there followed another angel, saying, Babylon is fallen, is fallen, that great city, because she made all nations drink of the wine of the wrath of, the for of her fornication. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in their foreheads or in their his hand. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever. And they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. Here is patience of the saints. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Yea, saith the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors and their works do follow them. And I looked, behold, a white cloud. And upon the cloud one sat like unto the Son of Man, having on his head a golden crown and his hand a sharp sickle. And another angel came out of the temple, crying with a loud voice to him that sat on the cloud, Thrust in thy sickle, reap, for the time has come for, for thee to reap, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. And he that sat on the cloud thrust in his sickle on the earth, and the earth was reaped. And another angel came out of the temple, which is in heaven, he also having a sharp sickle. And another angel came from the altar, which had power over fire, and cried with a loud cry to him that had the sharp sickle, saying, Thrust in thy sharp sickle, and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth, for her grapes are fully ripe. 
And the angel thrust in his sickle into the earth and gathered the vine of the earth and cast it into the great winepress of the wrath of God. And the winepress was trodden without the city and blood came out of the winepress even under the horse's bridle by the space of a thousand six hundred furlongs. Revelation chapter 14, the wrath of God. Are you saved? It's time to give your life to Jesus Christ. We're coming up on the apocalyptic hour. This is the edge of eternity. We're on the brink of the beast. My book, Mark of the Beast, RFID, will help explain to you the process of what brings about the Mark of the Beast, folks, that's coming up on all of humanity you're not saved, Jesus Christ is the only answer. It's in him that we live, move, and have our very being. Repent of your sins. Call upon the name of the Lord. Ask him in your heart. Just say, Father, I've sinned. I'm repenting, Jesus. I'm repenting of my sins. God, I need your mercy and your grace. Forgive me. Wash me. Cleanse me. In the precious blood of the Lamb of God. Save me. I want my name written in the Lamb's book of life. I want to be dressed in white robes, the wedding garment, ready for your return of your bridegroom to gather the bride. I don't want to be left behind to face the wrath of God, the winepress, the wrath of God. I don't want to be part of the sickle thrust into the earth, gathering the, dividing the sheep from the goats, dividing the tares, from the wheat. I don't want to be a part of it. Are you saved? Send me a personal message right here on this YouTube channel. Go to the channel page. Hit the private message button. Title it. I want to be saved. I want to be saved. And then tell me who you are. Repent of your sins. Call on the name of the Lord. Let me correspond with you. Let me help you. Let's get saved. I baptized two people yesterday. And there was two other ladies that come and rededicated God is moving, and this is your day. But it won't do you any good if you don't give your life to Jesus Christ.